This snippet is Publishing and Testing Your Silverlight Game. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training from Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to insert your Silverlight game into pre-existing HTML pages. You'll do this using Expression Web 3. It's worth noting that you can do this with any HTML editor. However, Expression Web 3 makes it particularly easy to insert Silverlight content. So to get started, we're going to define a site that contains all of our pre-existing web pages. In order to do this, I'm going to choose Site, Open Site. I'll now go ahead and click Browse, and I need to locate this folder, Exporting, located within the Publishing and Testing folder associated with this snippet. Once I select the Exporting folder, I'll click Open, and then Open once more. And now I can see within the Site view, I have a default.html page as well as the styles.css page. I'll go ahead and double-click on default.html. Here we have a sample gaming web page. Now the first thing you need to make sure of is that you have enough room to put in your Silverlight content. Assuming you have that, you simply need to select in the area where you want the Silverlight game to appear. In our case, we'll put it right here below this paragraph. Next, we'll choose Insert, Media, Silverlight. Now we need to dive down and locate this file, beehive.xap, or zap. In general, you can find this file in the bin folder, and then one level down in the debug folder for any Silverlight project. So in our case, we'll select beehive.zap, and then click Open. A placeholder appears in the design view. If we click on that placeholder, we can notice one thing. The default height and width for this placeholder, or for our Silverlight game, is 640 by 480. So this is the way that Expression Web 3 formats Silverlight content. However, we're going to override that because our game is actually larger. So I'm going to click within the height attribute and change the height to 600. And then I'm going to click in the width attribute and change the value to 800. We can actually see our placeholder update as we do this. Now once we do that, we're going to go ahead and preview this in our browser by choosing File, Preview in Browser. Click OK to save your changes. And now we can see our Silverlight content has been added. Now, when you first preview this page in your browser, you may have to accept an ActiveX control. Go ahead and do that. And now you can see that we have our Silverlight content within our HTML page. Everything at this point functions exactly the way it's supposed to. And we can go ahead and play our game. So in this snippet, you've learned how to add Silverlight content to a pre-existing web page. Thank you, this is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.